All right, crew. Last uh, video in the beginning level series. We've added, we've multiplied, we have subtracted. Today we divide. So make that the next uh, free page in your math notebook when you have done so. Mark your page. Um, clear any distractions away and concentrate with me. All right, so like I said, we've done um, equations where we add to the variable. We've done equations where we subtract. We've done equations where we multiply. And we have figured all of those out using the drawing or the visual strategy and also the inverse operation strategy. And I'm sure you have noticed there is one operation we haven't looked at yet, which is division, which we shall do now. All right, so... What if I say x divided by 4 equals 48? What is x? Ooh. First of all, it looks kind of scary because it looks like a fraction. If you're not used to seeing division that way, that's the same thing as saying x divided by 4 equals 48. Those are the same. There's just two ways to write the same thing. Uh, fractions and division are the same thing. A fourth is you know one thing divided into four parts. It's division. So you're usually going to see it this way, so I'm going to write them this way, but if it helps you like feel less intimidated to write it out that way, um, you're welcome to do so. So common sense, eh, maybe, maybe not. What divided by 4 is 48? It's going to be a pretty big number. Um, I don't think I have it like in mind. So what I'm going to tell you first with uh, division I much prefer this strategy. It is difficult to draw, and even after you draw it, it's not terribly easy to figure out. So you're going to see this one the least. You don't often see uh, division in these in the advanced problems, but just in case you do, I'm going to do this first. I think this is the more reliable way um, to do that. So either way you want to write it, x divided by 4 equals 48 might be the less... Uh, intimidating way to write it. So again, always with the inverse operation strategy, I ask myself, what's happening to my variable? In this case, it's being divided by 4. So the inverse of dividing by 4 is multiplying by 4. So I'm going to multiply by 4 on both sides. The reason I do that, x divided by 4 times 4, those cancel and just leave me with 1x just an x left on this side, which is great. So all I have to know now is on this side, what is 48 times 4? Um, you can do that however you care to. Calculator is probably a quick and simple way to do that. 48 times 4, told you it was going to be a pretty big number, is 192 is x. So this one tends to be the most intimidating to look at. This strategy leads you right to the answer pretty fast. Um, it's being divided by 4, so I multiply by 4 on both sides. Visual strategy, like I don't love this one with division, um, but I am going to show you kind of how I would do it if I had to. It's hard to draw x being divided into four parts, but I kind of can. So remember, this is an unknown value. So what I like to do is instead of drawing an x, I'm just going to kind of draw unknown, like a blank, say, and I'm going to divide it into four parts. So what I imagine is my x being sort of like an unknown like this, like let's just say like a blank or a box, like what is that? And it's being divided into four parts. So on that side, I would just kind of imagine like what does each of those have to be in order for us to have 48 on each side. And so, well, I guess I shouldn't put all those X's in there. It's like, what's the whole thing divided into four parts equals 48. And so if that whole thing was, of course, we know the answer. If that whole thing was 192, then each part would be 48. Again, that might be a little too confusing, and you may just not like this strategy on this one, and I totally get it. Um, so I need the whole x, the whole unknown, to be 192. All right. So again, always a good idea to check. Um, x divided by 4 equals 48. I need to make sure that if I substitute 
um, 192 and it works, I get the same thing. So 192 divided by 4 should equal 48. I'll double check and make sure that's true. 192 divided by 4 is indeed 48, which means I'm right. You can always know if you're right on these, which is nice. If you go back and check, you'll never have to wonder. All right, let's do one together. X divided by 5 equals a 4. Go ahead and pause here, write out your strategies and all that, and unpause when you're ready to go. If it helps, uh, this means the same thing as x divided by 5 equals 4. In algebra, you tend to see x divided this way rather than with this old division symbol. But if it helps, I, I like to know that, and I often, like an inverse operation, I'll probably write it that way. So I think it's first important to know that that's what's happening there. Common sense, this one you could probably do. What number divided by 5 equals 4? Um, there's a good chance you can, like the last one was a was not like anything you would know mentally, but this one probably is. You can probably just figure out 20 divided by 5 equals 4. All right, I'm going to do this first, and I want you to even write that. This is the better option when you have to divide. The drawing option is pretty clumsy. I like to have ways for you to think about it because maybe it helps, but uh, I think this one's the much better option here. So x divided by 5 equals 4. Remember how I think about this. Look at my variable. What's happening to it? It's being divided by 5. And the inverse of that is multiplying by 5. I don't write it as a cross anymore, sorry. I'll do dot times 5. So I'm going to multiply both sides here by 5 because that's the inverse of dividing by 5 x divided by 5 times 5 is just x. 4 times 5 is 20. Got it. I think that's the better option here. Lead you right to it. I'm going to do the drawing strategy here for you, but I'll admit it's kind of clumsy. Um, and I, I probably wouldn't use it myself. But I'd like you to know, and you might like it better. So this is why it's hard. Is how I, you know This is no problem. <laughs> But how do I draw x being divided by 5? So I'm going to basically imagine my x as this box. There's my total unknown value. I would put an x maybe above it. And it's being divided into 5 parts. 2, 3, 4, 5. And I have to figure out, okay... Well, what number is that when I take it and I divide it into five parts that I get four? And if that helps, that may or may not help you solve it. Remember, we need to know what X is, not what goes in those little boxes, which is weird. Um, so, I, you know, I've got to figure that out. So in this case, we already know X is 20. So if X is 20, then when it's divided by five, those are each four. So again, it's pretty clumsy, and I think it's not really helpful. You can even write not great in this situation with division, but it does it is kind of possible um, to do. So let's check um, real quick. We need to make sure that x divided by 5 equals 4 is true if we substitute in a 20 for x, 20 divided by 5 should equal 4, and of course it does. Check. Smile. Yay! Good job. All right, so that's division. This one comes up the least, so if this seemed very confusing to you, what I'll say is just use the inverse operation strategy. It's the better option in this case, and um, just remember how to do that. Don't worry if the drawing strategy didn't make sense. You don't like this. It works with the inverse operation strategy just like all the other operations. It just ends up looking a bit more confusing. If you think you need another watch, go ahead. Hopefully you're starting to feel like this makes some sense and you're ready for you to do together and you do alone.